I did something really dumb today. Pro tip, even if you think you're going out for something easy, eat something. <laughs> Today, we find ourselves at the base of Cannon Mountain in a mostly empty parking lot because this is a crap weather day. If this was a nice, cool, clean fall day, this thing would be full to bursting with people headed up to an overlook that we've actually never been to before. Mostly because it's full of tourists all the time. But our hope is that today, with the weather turning pretty foul, wind and rain and cold. It might be a bit less crowded. I'm sure there's some people there. A lot of these cars here are here for a, uh, for a road race that's going on right now. It's also a chance for us to test out some rain and cold weather gear and see how it holds up under some relatively mild conditions before we actually put it to the test in the real cold and snow coming up. So a bit of a double whammy. Clouds seem high enough that we might actually get some views at the top. We'll see how it goes. Careful of the mud. There we go. If you've ever wondered what it would be like to stand on top of Artist Bluff all by yourself, here it is. Originally we were going to stay home today, but I was on YouTube last night watching Paul over at PA Adventures who he had a big climb planned and then there was some rain and wind, 
So he just went up a short hill and you know what? I was like, yeah, we could still go out. We'll just make it a short, easy one. The conditions are sporty. Not as much rain as I'd hoped for, but we'll take what we can get. All right, we've got one more thing to get up. It's, it's called uh, Bald Mountain. It's uh, down the ways here a little bit. Pretty short and then we'll be on our way back down. That is definitely a wild view. I love that we have it all to ourselves. Hey, bad weather days to tourist traps for the win. Great trail right after a rainstorm. If you like mud and rocks and muddy rocks. Last little climb. It's a bald mountain. I did something really dumb today. So I'm gonna talk about that for a second. Don't let it happen to you. But I just realized probably about 20 minutes ago, I haven't eaten anything at all today. And it's pushing on noon. Just kind of got up and I was like, it's raining. I wanna get out and do something. So I started looking up a hike that we could do and then rushed everybody out to the car I mean, I grabbed drinking water, but yeah, so the first half hour that we've been out here, I was perfectly fine, breezing through, and then I've just hit the wall. Because it's short, I left everything back at the car, just did a, like a camel hydration before we came up, drank a bunch of water, and then we're like, should be good easy mile and a half but then we came halfway up one of the trails and the gopro started acting up where i needed to change out the memory card which i'd left back in the car so we went back i still didn't get anything to eat so it was going to be a mile and a half but now it's two miles and a bit more than the 500 feet of gain that we planned so it's not a hard bonk it's a light bonk but I'll tell you, I'd be feeling a lot better if I had something to eat. So, pro tip, even if you think you're going out for something easy, eat something. <laughs> At least, oh gosh, if I'd even just had breakfast, I think I would have been fine. Ugh. Satan's already up there. You're about to lose your mountain goat title. This morning. That's why he powered up there. I have one waffle. Bagels are actually good before hikes. I should have had one too. I had a pressure. Well, that's what we just climbed up.
All right, that's Bald Mountain. Wind's picking up again, and we got some fat raindrops, just a few right now. That are in. But I want to get off this rock before it starts getting wet. Oh, awesome weather! Just a very brief little rock scramble down. Rocks are still pretty dry. We should be fine there. And then less than a half a mile back to the car. Closer to a third. Easy peasy. Perfect day out. We've seen a few of the crazies out here on the trail, but not many. And listen to that wind. And this place gets plenty of it. See this pine tree right here? It's called flagging. When they get so much wind from a certain direction, the branches only grow to one side. So, I believe it. This would not be a good day to do Franconia Ridge, aside from that it's up in the clouds and there won't be any views. Windy and wet and a bit colder than it is down here. You gotta play, make your own switchback on the rocks here. Exciting. Wicked fun trail. Feels like a good storm coming in. I can feel it in the wind. A couple more crazies headed on their way up. Good luck to them. I'd have to say that was a pretty solid hike. If you want to call it that for the distance or at least a walk. On a bad weather day, as long as it's not too crazy. The few cars that you see here, this is it for all the hikers here. This massive car park. Is normally full on a nice day to give you an idea of how many people come up to this place. What a privilege to get that basically to ourselves today. That was awesome. As always guys. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.